So, the wine I'm decanting here today is a Barolo 2004 Pio Cesare. Um, Pio Cesare is one of the oldest, most highly regarded producers of Barolo. Um, 2004, great, great finish. They made a uh, fantastic wine. The reason you see me decanting this using the uh, little aerator here is because Barolas are also notoriously um, tightly wound. They're wines that take often many, many, many years in your cellar to open up. Um, and they often take an hour or more of aeration to really start showing you something. So, let's see if this uh, aeration helped us out here. Um, Pio Cesare owns a lot of vineyards in the uh, Saralunga area in Barolo, which is in Piedmont, Italy. Um, they source most of their grapes from that region, and they also purchase grapes from uh, a lot of growers uh, that they have long-term relationships with, so they get excellent fruit. Yeah, the nose is uh, starting to show here. <laughs> I'm getting a really bright perfume on this. Um, there's a sweet uh, flowery note, and there's a little bit of a, of a licorice note, sort of a tangy licorice note. Um, they, uh, traditionally, Barolos are aged in old, large oak fudras, so that they're, they don't really, um, they're not given any, any new oak character per se. Um, some producers have, have gone against tradition. And, and new oak aged their Barolos um, with the varying uh, levels of success. Um, what Pio Cesare does is they do sort of a combination. They take 30% of their wine and they put it in new oak barrels and they blend it back in. And so it gives it um, a little bit of that complexity that you get from new oak and, a little, and the softening that you get from aging in the large oak barrels um, for uh, you know, an overall uh, Fuller texture and uh, flavor profile. Mm. Yeah, it's starting to show. Let's taste it. Wow, that's big wine. Um, really intense. Um, still a fair amount of uh, tannin on this wine. Intense structure. I'm getting a really bright core of fruit. Um, it's it's sort of a uh, a black cherry, black plum kind of fruit. Um, I'm getting some of that licorice that comes up on the finish. Uh, a little hint of that new oak as well. This hasn't quite opened up as much as I would, would want it to if I were going to sit down and drink it. I'd let this sit here in the decanter for another hour or so before I would serve it. Um, ideally, you're going to get this wine, you're going to throw it in your cellar for five, ten years or so. Maybe try a bottle after a few years here and there. But um, incredibly intense wine very, very rare, very limited supply, um, something I think you're going to want to jump on. Enjoy.